Welcome back, everybody, to the DouglasCountyDigest.com. We are here in Tuscola for the second half of Friday Night Football between the home team, the Tuscola Warriors, and the visiting team, the Clinton Maroons. The Tuscola Warriors have a 36-7 lead over the Maroons as of right now. Mark, we've seen a lot of good things from uh, pretty much just one side so far. Yeah, Tuscola's came out for their homecoming game and... Um played some pretty inspired football and and uh, they're establishing the run game really well uh, they've they've completed some nice passes they're playing some some uh, consistent defense so oh that ball just bounced off of Dalton Hole he recovered it and heads up the center of the field and tries bouncing it out to the right and is brought down by number 41 Lewis Hicklin for the Maroons, but he does manage to get it out to about what, Luke, about the 34? Yeah, that's 34 yard 34, line. Yep. But uh, yeah, the Tuscola's looking pretty good right now. So 36-7 uh, to start the half off with and um, could just be one of those uh, continuous clock running games here pretty quick if Clinton doesn't do something to stop this Warrior offense. And Tuscola starts out with four wideouts, three to the far side of the field, one to ours. Nick Bates in shotgun, takes a snap, throws to the flats. That's Dalton Hole in the reception. He just made the nice return, and he is brought down around the 50-yard line for a first down. So one play, one first down for Tuscola to open the second half. A great pass from the cannon of Nick Bates, number 10. Now that's another... Uh bright spot for the Warriors is is just some some of the younger players that are out here contributing to this team this year it's very impressive to see them uh, performing and doing as well as they they're doing and three wide outs now to our side of the field one to the far Bates again takes the snap throws and through the hands of number seven and I believe that's Tyler. Oh boy. My sheet out here. And Tuscola will have second and ten on that in completion. My text message is blowing blowing up right now. The Cardinals must be putting a licking on the on the Dodgers <laughs> is all from what I could gather. <laughs> Tyler Harry was the intended receiver on that last pass. They now go up the middle with number 34, Cole Evans. Again, he was a monster in the first half for the Warriors. And uh, he has everybody on that front line to thank for all the wonderful wide open spaces he had to run that football. Looks like they'll be about third and third and seven. Third and seven uh, situation here for the Warriors. And uh, we'll see if uh, See if Coach Reinhardt wants to show a little pass here. Four wideouts. Does drop back in the shotgun. There's the throw. Nice throw. And Boy, caught right in the pocket. He just delivers that pass on a string, you know. Very tough to, to defend. You know, if, a, if, a, if, if you got receivers who can run good routes and break them off real quick like, like that one was done there by his older, his older brother, Zach, it, and that ball's delivered right when that break happens. That's tough to defend. I mean, you're yep. basically going to give up the completion. You just got to tackle them right there on the spot, which is what happened, but first down. West Coast, four wideouts. Fakes the handoff up the middle, looks to throw deep. Whoa. And he will be sacked. Looked like he might have had Dalton Hole maybe deep over the middle, but for some reason he kind of second-guessed himself and pulled it back in yeah. there and end up getting sacked but so he takes a large loss nine yard loss second and 19 I'm talking about that cardinal game the cardinals were down 6-1 and just came back to take a 10-6 lead wow <laughs> lots of runs no wonder my phone was blowing up on me there there's a snap as tuscola goes past oh, there it is base going got deep. him open don't hold in open. don't yep. hold that's an end zone the same play called on the other side of the field yep. they just they just put it on the other side of the field and ran the same thing and um wide open great protection for number 10 nick bates nobody with the white jersey near the backfield 
I mean, it just a stellar all-around job from everybody on the offensive end for Tuscola on that play. I mean, it, it was it was pretty close to perfection. Great routes by the receivers. Your linemen blocked. Your running back came up and made some nice a nice block. Uh, Nick Bates with a great throw to uh, hole over the middle for the touchdown. And Caleb Williams comes in. His quarterback fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, and he's not going to get the two-point conversion. He will be denied as it is 42-7 with 9.52 left to go here in the third quarter. Tuscola with a large lead on homecoming night. They are definitely here to take care of business. I'm thinking Celeste is a, is a Cardinal fan. She even sent me a text. So shout out to Celeste. Uh, <laughs> one of the co-owners for for uh, Douglas County Digest, and she's out. She's at home tonight watching this Cardinal game, obviously. And uh, uh, the people are blowing up the Twitter and Facebook and text messaging over this deal. You you Cub fan, Luke? No, no, I don't get in the middle of that. <laughs> I have, no, I, all all my friends are Cubs fans, <laughs> and my family works for the Cardinals, so I don't even bother. <laughs> I quit on baseball. <sighs> and Tuscola set now to kick off. Clinton is waiting for it. A decent kick into the wind. Good catch this time as he goes up the right side of the field. Is finally brought down close to the 45-yard line. It looks like they will be on the 43. So a good return for Clinton. Good field position. We'll see if they can get this ball moving. Well, 42-7, 9:45 in the third period. They they need to they need to get something going. Looks like uh, looks like they might have had an injured player come off the field there. Clinton did, but um, they need to mount some type of an attack or they're at the vulnerable position in the game right now where Tuscola could just blow this one wide open. And Noah Griffin, number three, the quarterback, hands off for a three-yard gain. The second in around seven. A good, good opening run for them here in the second half. And Clinton's had spurts where they looked like they were going to mount something, but Tuscola's defense has just been there to stop them every time. Second and seven. They got a couple split out here. We'll see if they uh, stick with the run or try a little quick. No, nope, sticking with the run. Ooh. Nothing. Dangerous to jump at the line of scrimmage. You're <laughs> yeah. just asking to get clocked. <laughs> yeah. As the running back tried to jump over a little pile there in the middle of the field. He uh, does not gain anything. He just gets back to the line of scrimmage. So still third and seven for Clinton. Eight forty left to go. Tuscola's defense has been up to the task for the majority of the night so far. Clinton now, I formation, two wide receivers to our side of the field. There's the snappy rolls to his left, looks the pass. And it is incomplete through the hands of his receiver. And it'll be fourth and seven, and I would assume Clinton will bring on the punt team. Yep, here comes the punt team for Clinton. So to put Josh Knight and uh, a little Dalton hole back there to see what they could do with the, with the punt. They will have the wind to their back, so maybe they can this guy punched the ball pretty good for Clinton. He got off a couple of nice ones in the first half. And there's another beauty another from him. One. Josh Field, Knight. Yeah, fielded cleanly by Josh Knight. He's got a full head of steam. And he is brought down on the far side of the field by a few of the Clinton Maroons. Pretty close to the 40. Yeah, I would say it's around the 40 from where I'm standing. So first and 10 for the Warriors offense, who has already put up a score in the first half here. They have eight minutes, 10 seconds to go. And they have looked great so far. I think they've only had one punt so far this game. The Warriors have. Shotgun formation. 
spread, four wideouts. Looking to pass, ends up taking off for the run, and he is brought down by two Clinton defenders. A good gain, eight yard, eight yard gain will be second and two. Couldn't find anybody open downfield. So number 10, Nick Bates decided to run, an excellent run. And around the 47 yard line. And it looks like they will go with the spread formation again. <clears throat> Wide outs to either side of the field. Uh, Cole Evans, number 34, on Nick Bates, number 10. It's on his left. Looks like we might have a new receiver out here, number 21 for Tuscola, which is Jarrett McMasters. And Cole Evans gets tangled up in the at the line of scrimmage and manages to bounce out to gain a first down for T T Tuscola. One of the receivers in for Tuscola is 21, Jarrett McMasters. I was told that he is a uh, transfer from Monticello and is a uh, pretty good little football player. He's a senior. So Tuscola was able to pick up a player like that to, in the off season. Three wide outs, the Dalton hole in motion, then comes back to this side of the field. They hand off to Evans. He was brought down uh, immediately. Back to the line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. Second and 10. Lewis Hicklin, number 41 of the Clinton Maroons, brought down Cole Evans at the line of scrimmage. And again, Tuscola, they they rarely huddle, if ever, always in the hurry up. Three wide outs to this side, one to the far side. Bates tries to encourage the defense to go off sides. And now they get a new play in. Cole Evans to his left. There's the snap, throw out to Josh Knight. Good blocking by Dalton Hole. He, uh, he made a nice block and pushed the defender out towards the sideline. And I think that guy is probably about twice his size. <laughs> Excellent job. <laughs> I tell you what, he, he brings it. He, he just uh, he just gives it his all and does well out there, old Dalton. He plays he, like one of those little guys with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Four wide outs for Tuscola. There's the snap. Bates throws the screen no, nice. to Cole oh, Evans. He Cole drops, drops the it. ball. It's an incomplete pass. Incomplete. Had a nice screen set up there for him. They kind of faked the screen on this side with Dalton Hole withdrew a few defenders out of the middle. Mm -hmm. And uh, they tried to throw the screen back over to the running back. And I believe Tuscola will come out in pump formation. And they're going to huddle. And that could going to get a delay of game penalty, I believe, on Tuscola. Took a little too long to get that play off. They did huddle a little bit there. Of course, I would say they rarely huddle, and the next thing they do is they huddle. <laughs> <laughs> Commentators jinx. And, whoa. Oh, wow, they call it an illegal substitution yeah. on Clinton. That makes it. Definitely be going for it here. They're gonna have to look up the in the rule book how they made an illegal substitution. Well, I think they I think they were thinking Tuscola was gonna punt and then last second realized they weren't. And Nick Bates going straight up the middle. He's got the first yeah, down. He's past the marker. Yeah, he's got the first down by uh, about a yard and a half. I always thought you could sub anybody off as long as they don't hike the ball before your guy gets off the field. Yeah, the, the defense especially. I don't know. Illegal substitutions, you see that on offense. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. I, I don't know. The only time I've ever seen them call it on the defense is when their guy doesn't get off the field and there's too many players I wonder if on the that, field. I wonder if that is called an illegal substitution it, if a guy doesn't be. get off the field. That had to be what happened. Uh, uh, that would be my guess. Yeah. I, four wide outs for Tuscola. 
There's a pass over nice the middle. Pass. And he's got a lot of room. Missed tackle. Oh, he dove in. Dives for the end zone. And Touchdown. they are calling him yep, in. Yeah, that ball broke the plane. Lit right on the goal line. Very nice run after the catch. Good job. To Tyler Hale and um, Nick Bates. Again, nice arm. Good pass. Hit the receiver right in the pocket. He's hit that pocket so many times tonight. Tyler Hale's been having a pretty good game, too. He's, he looks good out there. E excellent accuracy. Tyler Harrell, a good run after the catch. Didn't go down after the first one. Stretched out to get the score after the second one. And they will try just a simple extra point this time around. There he goes. And it's good. So Tuscola now at the lead, 49-7. to And I believe that breaks our 40-point barrier. So from this point on, or until Clinton scores again, excuse me, there will be a continuous clock. Erickson did a good job of staying down on that ball that time. Punched that one right through with some power. So yeah, that's gets the wind kick. He did yep. really well. He, oh, you yeah. know, for for a freshman out there kicking in this kind of you know this kind of atmosphere and environment, you know, doing pretty good. He heard me talking bad about him when he had the wind in his back, and then when he missed that one down here, so he decided to. Proved yeah. me wrong. Yeah, he punched that one through. Well, it's good to see, you know, he kicks that first one and learns a little yeah. bit of a lesson and comes back out and knows he's got to really stay down and punch that ball through. And, and again, the Tuscal, the Warrior offense has not been denied. I want to see, I want to see, twice. yeah, I want to see Dalton Hole punt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got that one blocked, but never got to see how far he actually could punt. I want to see how far them legs can punt that ball. Surprised Erickson can't punt with the size. You know, he looks like he's got some pretty good legs on him. And there's the oh, kick. Oh, that bounced off his chest. Off his chest, and he kind of runs backward. And he's there you go. Down. Brought down by number 64, James Ross. 5'10", 220-pound junior got through there and, and uh, brought him down. Excellent coverage from the Warriors. And you can just see how wet and the field is just by looking down the middle of that field. You can see all the mud and the grass yep. that's torn up. Yep, the mud's coming up through the grass. It's, uh, it's been a it's been a tough game all around. Lots of drop balls, dropped uh, handoffs, some bad snaps. Uh, you've seen a lot of people slipping. And Clinton comes out, two wide receivers to our side. Nobody to the far side, I formation in the backfield. Griffin pitches. And he tries to stop and come back, but Zach Bates is there to stop him behind the line of scrimmage. And it, I mean, the Warriors just had that red from the get-go. Two guys sliding down the line for coverage and kept him in the backfield. Yeah. Alec Cooley, number seven, another, another young player for uh, Gibson City. Another sophomore out there. And like we've said, Clinton's got a lot of young guys. They've got a, they've got a, yep. yeah, uh, they do. They've got a few more years to go and uh, get some more experience. A lot of sophomores on that team. And like we said, a lot said, of contributing sophomores. Oh yeah, they've had some good plays here and there to get some good yards, and they just haven't been able to capitalize. There's a handoff up the middle. Uh, to get them closer to the line, of, original line of scrimmage, it'll be about a third and 11 for Clinton with uh, about three minutes to go. Tuscola's got some new blood in there on the uh, defensive line. They've got 64 who made the tackle on the last kickoff. Um, James Ross, and they've also got number 79, Hunter Woodard into the game. He's a 6'3", six, six, 225-pound freshman in there right now. That is a man. And drops back to pass, floats Whoa, it over tipped. the middle. <laughs> An excellent job by the wide receiver to tip it over the Tuscola defenders because that one looked like it was going right into the hands of the Tuscola defender. So again, uh, Clinton with a four and out here. And they will bring out their punt team once again. With uh, about two minutes to go. Yeah. 
49 to seven is the Tuscola lead. And oh, there's a flag. Too much time. Another penalty on the play. It's typically the guy that keeps the times back here. As we wait for the call, it has not warmed up here tonight. It is still staying very cold with a oh very, no. very wonderful, Tuscola. wonderful chilling breeze. And they penalize Tuscola. I, another illegal substitution on the defense. What was the, I don't get it. Somebody call me and tell me what that rule is, <laughs> please. And there's a high snap, gets it, brings it down, a decent punt. And it will take a, a roll. Clinton roll down to the 25 of Tuscola. Nice little barrel roll for an additional 10, 12 yards there after that ball hit the ground. Yep. Some good kicking. It was a low liner and the, you know, the, the, the receiver, the uh, punt returners back there, we're gonna have to field that ball off the ground. That was a pretty good decision just to let that one go. That could have been, you never know what those things are gonna do. Oh, for sure. So some good punting for Clinton after that first uh, bad snap for a safety. And they've got Tuscola back on their 25, first and 10. And they're in shock and looks like Caleb Williams is the quarterback, Nick Bates is out. They've got a lot of new faces in here on offense. It, it looked like maybe Dalton was back in the backfield that time. I believe that's who ran that ball. Yeah. It's number eight, Dalton Hole. No, I think no. 35. Yeah. Brock Tackett. Brock Tackett. 5'4", 125 pound sophomore. So he's not much bigger. <laughs> and uh, He was quick. <laughs> with uh, that play, that will end the third quarter. It is 49 to seven in favor of Tuscola over the Clinton Maroons here in Tuscola.